you make when you watch the film? What happened against Utah? Well, it's a second game that we've had late second quarter issues execution wise. You know, I, I believe at the five minute mark we're winning 10 7. Uh, we give up a third down and then we give up a late score in a end of the half situation. So we got to clean that up. And uh, so this has been good and healthy for us because Dante has done a really good job of buying us time to get better fundamentally in technique. When you're really close to making plays and not finishing plays. That goes back to your body position, pad level, angles, everything that we can work on. So the, the bye week and just the last couple of days have been really good for us. And uh, the kids know or it's the difference between making a play and not making a play. It could be body position, could be just uh, trust in your technique, fundamentals. And But that was the, the story reminded me a little bit of Stanford to the tail end of the second quarter. So we're gonna rep that. You know, we usually do a two minute drill for the end of the game on Thursdays, but we're gonna, uh, we've already talked to Coach Williams about it. We're gonna start working those situations so our kids have a little bit more comfort level doing it. Tackling was something you've talked about for yeah. a while now. Just how concerning is it? Like, uh, well, it's, it, it, we're gonna be a tackling uh, team by numbers. And I think that was the thing that got exposed on, on the field on Saturday where it's one guy going up, one guy not trusting his angle, one guy hesitating, the next guy that's behind him hesitating. So it, it, it's gotta be a collection of guys running to the football, but the guy that's up front um, has to stop the guy's speed, uh, change the speed of momentum. It, it's, it can't be just whiff and, and, and let a guy just run un, uncontested through something else. He's gotta slow him down, and then the rest of the guys gotta reel on the slide. Do you evaluate some of the younger guys this, this Yeah, game? absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. We're utilizing this time to, uh, once again, I, I said this earlier, like a guy like Rajon, a guy like Jalen, those type of guys. You figure at this point going into this will be their 11th week of being in the system playing with us. And do they need more opportunities? And this is the time to do it. We've already explained to them, hey, take this week. Um, they're going to go out there. We're going to have a young guy scrimmage uh, tomorrow, uh, full padded. They'll be able to evaluate those guys. And if they're deserving to play and they're better than the other guys, they're going to play. So yeah, like that's... Uh, uh, that's something that we talked about right out after the game, you know, we're giving those guys a little bit more opportunities. What do you specifically look for in the young guys scrimmage? Well, we look for somebody that's going to play really uh, fearless, confident, uh, extreme effort and physicality. Um, and those guys should because, you know, some of the younger guys are, are the younger guys, guys that we're going to redshirt, guys that, you know, don't have a significant role. But some of the guys, like uh, a guy like Ish, he's a guy that's going to be out there working a little bit. He's a guy that we're, I'm excited to see where he's at at this point. Some of the other guys uh, that, you know, we talked about the younger DBs going out there and just letting them go. Nobody's telling them what to do, going out there and playing to see if they're ready to go out there and contribute. I think that's probably the biggest thing. You know, are you going to see a guy go from you know 10 plays to 70 plays i don't think so but you see you got to go 10 plays to go 35 plays absolutely if that's what's necessary to get some of the changes done that we need to get changed is tomorrow an important test for ish to see if he's yeah, going to be ready for Notre yeah, Dame? absolutely so i'm excited he looks good i've uh, been doing some really good things uh but it'll be stamina that's the only thing i'm concerned about with him because when you got you can go through practice and take a break, but in a game, if you got to go six or seven plays, there's no break. So we're, we're, we'll be really glued into that tape. We're going to make some harder evals tomorrow, watching some of those younger guys. And then going to next week on Monday, it's like, hey, this this guy's good enough to, to help us win ball games, and we're going to ride with him because we need more we need more depth right now. What do you need to see still out of Rajon Davis? Well, the biggest thing is is just consistency and and i've been like uh, uh, coach snyder has been really good with him getting him on the football field but to me it's the consistency that goes into assignment but he's getting better he's a guy I'm just hit him i look at jalen i look at those two guys and say like hey let's get him on the field and, and see where they're at and we thought that way coming into week five or six we knew it wasn't going to be early because you know young guys in the heat of the battle are going to make mistakes but they they've been seasoned enough if they do a good job then you're going to see them you know the following Saturday. If you can't get H for Notre Dame, what does he bring to the defense? What can he do? Stoutness, size, girth, you know, just that big old, big old uh, guy, man. And that's what we need. We need some stoutness in there. Guys can hold the points and, uh, you know, he, he does have really good vision. He can make plays. So I've just, this has been the last couple of days. They've kind of been filtering him in and out of individual and some of the team segments, but he looks good. So like, like I said, we'll find out tomorrow. I'll have a little bit more for you guys next week. Thank you, Yes, you're welcome.